it. Yo, I'm gonna be honest, being the top option for Strand Warlock, kinda nice. Not this sandbox. LOL. Guys, with this build, we will literally have infinite invisibility and threadlings on Strand Warlock. There's no time to waste. Let's get into it. Let's get into it, bro. Now, first of all, we have the true inspiration behind this entire build, Weave Walk, the new Strand Aspect. Guys, this is probably the most potent aspect we have seen in a while. It allows you to air dodge, which then enters you in a mist-like state. This gives you seemingly 99% damage resistance for the duration of its effect. I mean, look, I am literally taking no damage at all, just surrounded by enemies. Wild stuff. Now this effect is tied to your melee cooldown, so if you have none, you can't go ahead and use it. It cannot be overstated how insane Weave Walk is in PvE, guys. Not only do enemies do zero damage to you, but they also completely ignore you. In this state, you are effectively void invisible in PvE. Invisibility is the strongest status in the game, so having Strand Warlock dip into it is really cool to see. Weave Walk is almost simply better invis, since you cannot die in this form unlike void invisibility. Now guys, the one thing balancing Weave Walk is the fact that you cannot shoot your weapons during its effect. But this matters very little, since while we are in Weave Walk, we charge our perched up threadlings up to a maximum of 5. This gives us a reason to want to enter the the state offensively since the next time we shoot we will deploy some heavy damage due to those thread links even if we're using our primary now guys when i hopped in the season and tried out weave walk i thought it was so cool so i wanted to make a build that truly abuses it as much as possible there are some weird things we could do with swarmers and tangles but i'm gonna be honest guys i don't really think that is very meta and it certainly isn't gonna last the test of time after the season 22 artifact mods are gone so what we're gonna be doing here today is discussing a build that takes full advantage of Weave Walk. Now, to abuse Weave Walk as much as possible, we'll be taking Eye of Another World, which lowers the cooldown of our melee ability a great deal. Now, you remember how our Weave Walk cooldown is tied to our melee, right? So the obvious synergy here is with Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo gives us melee energy as we do damage to enemies. This energy is very substantial, and with it, we will essentially have infinite invisibility with Weave Walk and infinite threadlings as well. All we do is enter Weave Walk, Watch our Threadlinks charge up to 5, then cancel it by dodging again. Next, we fire off our Monte Carlo for some big damage thanks to the Threadling support, and then we're gonna have enough energy to enter Weave Walk again and continue the loop. This effect does take time to keep rinsing and repeating, and you might be asking yourself, isn't it better to just do damage? But guys, the trade-off for that time spent is you always having 3 melee stacks, effectively always giving you that out if you needed it. Another plus is Monte Carlo does have that anti-barrier in Season 20. 22, thanks to the artifact. Now guys, like I've been saying, Threadlings do some heavy damage and that is due to our fragment Thread of Evolution, which increases the damage that our Threadlings do and increase the range that they'll travel. Now Weave Walk alone gives us infinite Threadlings when chained properly with Monte Carlo, but we have three other ways to create Threadlings. First of all, we have Weaver's Call. With this aspect, when using your Rift, three Threadlings will spawn and all of your charged up Threadlings from Weave Walker will deploy. This technique does some huge damage even in endgame content. This combination will also give you some energy back since we use our Rift, which takes advantage of our Outreach and Bomber mods. With Reaper, we'll even create an Orb of Power, which gives us even more energy from Invigoration, Innervation, and Absolution. Picking up this Orb of Power will then give us Armor Charge to use with Grenade Kickstart, which gives us a chunk of our grenade energy back after using it. Now speaking of our grenade, we're of course going to be using Threadlink to spawn even more on the field. Next, we're going to be taking Thread of Finality, which will create even more Thread links when we finish a target. Now our last fragment is going to be Threat of Generation, which gives grenade energy as we do damage to a target. Now guys, this fragment prefers sustained damage over a strong burst, meaning that Monte Carlo takes great advantage of it. Now for our stats, we're going to need 100 resilience for that nice 30% damage reduction, then as much strength as possible, 100 is preferred. I would almost rather you guys have 100 strength and 90 resilience, because with Eye of Another World and 100 strength alone, the cooldown of Weave Walk speeds by really quickly. In fact, it's so fast that if you wanted to run a different weapon because you were doing some high-end content, 
You totally could, so long as you use your weave walk sparingly, prioritizing always having two melee charges so you can weave walk defensively if need be. If you are running I Have Another World and you have 100 strength and you're on top of your cooldown, your weapons actually don't matter at all so you can run whatever you want to synergize. If you're in some more forgiving content, any weapon with the hatchling perk could prove to be really fun. And guys, just like that, we have infinite weave walk and infinite threadlings. Give this build a try today. There's going to be a dim link in the description description so you can easily throw it on. Also, be sure to subscribe since I have a ton of content coming. Either way, appreciate you watching and I'll see you for the next video. Peace.